That is good. Really nice. That is definitely a PV. One I wasn't expecting at all, actually. Anyways, I hope this time I won't game over on Broadland. That would be pretty cool. It's pretty fun. I like this game, but it's like there's just nothing happening. It's just everything is the same. It's just like bubble bubble. something to eat and lurk a bit in time into troll you, you know, the usual- yeah, okay, that's fine. this tiny ten was Jetsons, it moved so slow. To be fair, it's not a good imp impression when the first uh, stage is uh, an Alice color. To be, uh, like, for me the whole game, uh, the best part of the game is the final stage with George. Like, all the power-ups you can get make it really fun. But yeah, I can, I can, uh, yeah, I can totally understand where you're coming from. Jetsons is one of those where the first time you play it, you don't like it, but the more you play it, the more you grow, the, the more you grow on it, like. And I can tell you because of experience, because that was the same for me. Like, at the beginning, it was the game I hated the most from, I believe it was Tiny Ten 7. And then I played it more and more, and it was one of my favorites. practice it made me want to sleep. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Yeah. And hey, Ryutech, nice pixel art. If you mean the game, yes. If you don't mean the game, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know why I <laughs> phrased it like that, but yeah. But hi, how you doing? Got the double kill there, nice. 
to like... Okay, that's not what I wanted. I'm going down here, thank you. For me, my least favorite game of... Uh... For me, the least favorite game of the remix was uh, No Doubt Mega Man 3, but Mario's Mission was a close second. <laughs> I just, I don't like Mario's Mission. Why does everyone love it? I don't get it. Practically everything is pixel art that's on the screen, <laughs> but yes, the game. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like, I think this game is an, a, a port of an arcade. Because I know it ha there is an NES version, and I think an Amiga? Version, I want to say, to the balloon, the balloon troll. Come on. Okay, the stupid whale. I expect to die here at least once. Or maybe not. Okay. Maybe I won't die. I mean, yeah, that's uh, Roland's Curse. Um, the thing about Roland's Curse is that it's a good game, it's just slow. And Glitchless I like, any percent I like more, which is what happened on the remix, but not in a race set, not in a race setting. Because it's pretty much like, say, like saying on a big 20, hey, um, do Mario Brothers 3 any percent, the wrong warp. That, that was pretty much it. Luckily, the Roland Scores one is a lot easier than Mario 3, but still, like... No, it's it's not based off, it's the same series, and... Yeah, I'm on, this, I'm on the same boat as you there. Ninja Kun games, I just... don't. <laughs> King's Bird again, now my hands are battered, okay. <laughs> Amazing people there. It's a joke, they're obviously great people, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, like, I think it was big 2011 where it had, like, uh, how was it called? Ninja Kun, um, something, something Boken, I think it was. That game sucks. That game straight up sucks. They even said that on the game reveal. <laughs> they tried to play it and they literally said, wow, this game sucks. Oh yeah, I remember those. And it's funny because some of those games ended up being uh, on Tiny 10. And I didn't even know. Like, I think, um... I think one of them was Kid Nikki. I think. I need to get you. Yeah, Kid Nicky was the first game, which by the way, it's freaking hard. <laughs> I haven't died yet, though. This is good. <laughs> I've played uh, Kid Nikki 1 NES, that one is pretty bad. The, the second one, I don't mind. It, I'm not going to say it's a great game, because it clearly isn't, but I don't mind it. it, it it's fun. It, it, it's fine, it's just there. 
on Game Boy though, Kid Mickey is a completely different game. The physics are a lot better. It's still hard as heck. <laughs> It's funny because everyone was saying that on the... Because Kid Nicky not only was on a Tiny 10, it was also on the first remix, I believe. And everyone was saying they got a, a, a glitch on 3-3 where they just couldn't complete it. Where... I don't know if the hitboxes changed or something, but... Pretty much... Uh, oh, I'm dead, okay. But pretty much they couldn't uh, go through a gap. And... I never had that happen to me. I've never had that happen to me. Everyone was saying that and I'm like, oh, uh, okay, I, I, I've never seen that. I mean, it is probably a thing, I've just never seen that. It's. <laughs> I've never had that happen. But, re but I remember every time I play it, and I can't make the gap first try, I always think, oh god, did I get the glitch? But no, then I can do it first, uh, second try. So I don't know. Because I guess my, my question is, how, how does it work? Like, what kind of thing do you have to do to reproduce that? Also last boss, by the way. I thought that, like, you'd expect that to be more common if it's sub-pixel things. I don't know. Oh, what? The hit the things change. Screw you, last boss. I only died twice. 